Oh no, ticks are appearing all over this dog's body. How can the owner fix this? A Be Kind to Pets educational video for vet students and pet owners. Sponsored by Topayo Vets. Many dogs in Singapore have tick infestation. What do you do if your dog has it? Well, last week, this dog came in with a severe tick infestation. Here at Topayo Vets, we provide services to help remove and clean the dog of all its ticks problems. Here are some steps we took to detect the dog earlier. Step 1. Physical Examination So firstly, the vet will take a look at the dog, mainly around his face, neck, body, and gums. We look around the body for where the ticks are located and how severe the infestation is. Secondly, we will check the gums for any decolorization of the gums. Normally, if the gums is pink, like the dog in this video, we will know that gums is healthy and the dog is not suffering from any form of tick fever. However, if the gums are white, like the following Persa images, the gums are infected and therefore, have tick, therefore the dog has tick fever, as white colored gums normally indicate that the dog is sick and it needs medical attention quickly. Lastly, we can do blood tests to check whether your dog is sick or not. As you can see in this video, a Tibetan terrier took a blood test to see whether its heavy tick infestation has affected it. These are the results. There is a bacterial infection as evident by the large increase in the total white cell count 31 as compared to 6 to 17. And neutrophilia on increase in neutrophils percentage 89% when the normal one should be 60 to 70%. Now, the absolute number, absolute number means the total number of uh, neutrophils. In a normal dog, it should be within the range of 3 to 11. But you can see it's nearly three times the higher range. So, this, this is evidence-based uh, medicine whereby you, you take the blood to uh, check the health of the tick-infested dog. Without taking the blood, you won't know What's wrong with the, what, how serious is this uh, tick infestation? So from this blood test, we can show that there should be no worries about tick fever infection at the time of uh, blood taking and also subsequently on checking the gums for pink color instead of pale white color. Then, now the important thing is the the bacterial infection as to what type of bacteria it is uh, and most antibiotics should be able to clear the infection and you can see that the dog has good appetite and is active and has no fever so it's likely that this dog has recovered from the bacterial infection step two clipping of the coat of the dog now we have to clip the coat of the dog to see how bad the tick infestation is in this part of the step, we can do sedation if the dog is very rowdy or bites because to protect the safety of the vet. Step 3. Applying eye ointment. Next, before the treatment is done to take out the ticks, we have to first apply an ointment on the eye to make sure that no insecticide or treatment or any kind of chemicals go into the eye. Step 4 is treatment. In this step, we bathe the dog in special insecticide to kill all the ticks on its body. Step 5 is the removal of ticks. This is normally done the next day. As removal of ticks is a long process, which may take up to a few hours, it is done the next day, in which the, ticks are re the dead ticks are removed from the dog after its insecticide bath. And this is the result. Now, we can finally hand over the dog back to its owner and the vet is about to give the owner some tips on how to take care of the dog. And then uh, we will put here, okay. yep. like that. And then the owner is supposed to do it every three weeks. Okay. That is to prevent uh, any yeah, more ticks. More ticks coming back. Uh, some spot on are, are not effective because they use for too long. So that's why they have to change the brand. Okay. And that's the reason it's not, not, uh, not working for some dogs. And then they cannot bathe, you know, that's the thing. So, yep. so that's why they put spot on. Some, some owner, they bathe the dog 
so the, the protection goes off. Okay, yeah. So what do I do when I get her back? Okay, basically you have already asked the pest control to to uh, bomb the room side, close door, and then they, they, they bomb it in the side. So that one is uh, quite toxic, the whole area is toxic, even for humans as well. Mm -hmm. So basically I would not advise in the first place. Then the garden, they also spray the uh, insects in the garden, it's very poisonous to the plants and the grass. So uh, after when the rain comes, it, it washes, washes very really oddly. So it doesn't work again, it's not a permanent solution. So the permanent solution is uh, to uh, apply the spot on insecticide on the top every three to four weeks and then change the brand if it doesn't work. If, uh, if, if it works, of course, it's best. Then the other one is if you have time every day, you check the pores with any ticks stuck there, but which I think most of them have time because uh, your dog goes out because after they come back, come back, they, they check it. Then there are some Singaporean owners who are quite uh, particular, so they wear boots. So whenever the dog goes to dog run, they wear boots, it right. kind of looks stupid. Okay. But, uh, but don't the ticks just jump onto the yeah, body? Yeah, it goes to the body. Uh, also, right? But the foot is the, the feet are the, uh, the main areas of contact from the grass. Okay? Mm -hmm. So you see some dog owners that wear boots for the booties for the dogs, they see? Yes. Uh, then uh, they are thinking about avoid the dog runs, uh, because that is the place yes. where most of the ticks are. And uh, of course, you make sure your neighbors, some neighbor dogs are full of ticks today, so you, you must I mean, be alert, see whether theirs is full of ticks or not. And uh, some neighbors, they don't do the control, so they spread to yours. Then the other thing is stray dogs. Uh, they may have ticks as well, or body normal today. So basically, uh, the best is, of course, the spot on is every side. And uh, if possible, the examination of the pores and body after the exercise. If not possible, then uh, at least examine once a week. You know? mm -hmm. Then uh, if there are ticks, then uh, the best is you vacuum the floor, look for the cracks on the wall, the little cracks are very hard. You know? Those are the uh, lava, the, the thing, uh, the small, small microscopic fish you can see. Uh, I mean, that's about the main thing. The most practical is for one, most of us use it. Can we just check with you? The ticks are brown ones, right? And then when they sucked on the dog, yeah, they come to get a This is a mother, come and show this. This is a big mother. This is a fat one that's about. This is an adult female with eggs. Uh. Yeah. So you see this one is already the female. Uh. Whereas normally we see this small one, the mims uh, on the floor. Or right. the adults. Adults are bigger ones, uh, the mims is the smaller one. Uh, this two we see. The lava, the lava actually very hard to see. Uh. Uh, because they're very small, M most of them are actually quite uh, microscopic. But, but here in, in this chart, it's a very useful chart by Meryl. Uh, Meryl. So this is to explain to you why, 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 why you see those fat ones. Mm -hmm. These are the ones. Then uh, Singapore, we have this very so This is how I say must check the gums. You check the gums for the pink color. If the gums are white, that means the parasites have gone into the blood cells, the red blood cells. And then they, they destroy the red blood cells so the gums are pale due to loss of blood, blue blood cells and, and the dog is anemic. This is the reason that you must check the gums all the time. For, for a dog, the gums are pink, so she's lucky. Then none of these ticks have this uh, uh, but babesia parasites. And uh, otherwise, a dog will be having uh, anemia or, or, or bloody nose, nose with blood coming up. This is due to this, this uh, parasite. This one attacks more on the some attack red blood cells, some attack white blood cells. Mm -hmm. uh, then, uh, of course, the Lyme disease is a, is a human one. Affect humans, so some, some people get lame, paralyzed. This is in America mainly. So far, we have not heard about it in Singapore. So they think that uh, Europe also is a very serious uh, disease because they affect human beings. These are the zoonosis, leukosis. Uh, These are the various ones that affect human beings. They are due to ticks. So Singapore actually they are most likely with most common this one the this you see. I thought ticks don't bite humans. They bite accidentally. Yeah. Okay. It's a, it's a not a purpose looking for humans, it just happened no dogs around so 
think the humans around they are hungry, so they have to suck some blood. Okay. This is like fleas, uh, fleas, cat fleas. Uh. They do bite human legs and blood. They, they have no choice, they fight. Uh. They suck the blood. Uh, that's the reason. Uh. Also, the tank marrow for the chart. This concept is a very uh, useful chart to explain. Uh. Of course, these eggs you can't see, uh, they, they are microscopic. The drawing is so big. It's so you can see the eggs. Uh. That's why I can't see them. Uh. When we were young, we would squash the egg, and then later on, <laughs> squash the big grey thing. The mother. And then later on, when I was an adult and I got my first dog, the groomer told me, please never squash the grey because you're splattering the eggs, eggs all yeah. over. Yeah. And then the eggs were hatched, they were hatched. That's why. So, so your groomer is good. Huh? For the taking services at Topayo Vets, please call at the following number or email at judy at topiovets.com.